Okay, um, Language B students, good morning. So we're going to continue on with our completers. Um, our first completer, our complement that we have talked about is the direct object. We have learned that the direct object comes after an action verb. We have learned that it can never be in a prepositional phrase. We have learned that we find the verb and then um, the, uh, so the cat ran ran down, no, that's not a good sentence. Um, oh gosh, the cat drank the milk, okay? So drank would be our verb, who or what drank, cat. D cat drank, who or what, we would say milk. That would be our direct object. So we find our, our, our verb, we find our subject, we say our subject verb together and ask who or what. That gives us our direct object. So our indirect object, is um is going to be found very much the same way we're going to well first of all the direct the indirect object is found in between your action verb and your direct object so it's going to be in between there somewhere still it will never be in a prepositional phrase and we will say our subject our verb our direct object and then we will say to whom or for whom. And the answer to that question will be our indirect object. It's all pretty, pretty simple. I want you to look up here at the board. I have a sentence already written. I sent my mother a birthday card. Sent is our verb. Who or what sent? I. I sent whom or what? Card. I sent card to whom? or for whom mother would be our indirect object, okay? Look at the next one. Um, Phil gave me a piece of paper, prepositional phrase. Put in parentheses, get it out the way, don't even look at it for the rest of our, our work on this sentence. Gave is our verb, who or what gave, Phil. Phil gave whom or what, piece. It can't be paper because paper is the object of that preposition. He gave peace. Phil gave peace to whom or for whom, and our indirect object would be me. Okay? So that is how we find our indirect objects. So, um, oh, and I wanted you to note, here's our verb. Here's our direct object. Our indirect object is in the middle of them. Here's our verb. Here's our direct object. Our indirect object is in the middle, okay? So, so that'll help you find them as well. So look at page 275, and we're going to look at think A. It says, label the action verb AV, the subject S, the direct object DO, and the indirect object IO. Uh, the first one is done, so let's look at it. Father bought me a puppy. Bought is our verb. Who or what bought father? Father bought whom or what? Puppy, our direct object. Father bought puppy for whom or to whom? Me, our indirect object. So see, it's not very hard at all, but it sure makes you feel pretty smart, doesn't it? Number two, mom made me a birthday cake. Made is our verb. Who or what made? Mom. Mom made whom or what? Cake. Mom, that's our direct object, cake. Mom made cake for whom or to whom? Me. Me is our indirect object, okay? Um, do, do you owe him anything? All right, so our action verb is do owe. Who do owe? <laughs> you. Sounds funny, doesn't it? You do ho, do ho. You do owe whom or what? Anything is our direct object, and you do owe anything to whom or for whom him is our indirect object. That one was a tongue twister. Number four, give the dog his dinner. We have an imperative sentence here. It's giving a command, okay? Keep that in mind. So give is our verb. Who or what give? You, you in parentheses with a capital Y at the beginning of your sentence. You give whom or what? Dinner is our direct object. You give di dinner to whom or for whom? Dog is our indirect object, okay? Did I say dinner was direct or indirect? 
because it's direct, but I feel like in my mind, I may have said indirect. Um, bring me your test papers. It's an imperative sentence. Bring is our verb. Who or what brings you, capital Y in parentheses at the beginning of the sentence. You bring whom or what papers, our direct object. You bring papers to whom or for whom, me, our indirect object. I um, look at sentence six. I will make myself some lunch. Will make is our action verb. Who or what will make, I. I will make whom or what, lunch, our direct object. I will make lunch for whom or to whom, myself, indirect object. Um, number seven, read me the instructions again. We have an imperative sentence, it's giving a command. Read is our verb. Who or what reads? You. You in parentheses, capital Y at the beginning of your sentence. You read whom or what? Instructions is our direct object. You read instructions to whom or for whom? Me is our indirect object. Number eight, tell me the story of Jesus. An imperative sentence. We have a lot of imperative sentences in this exercise. Um, it is, it's giving a command. Tell is our verb. Who or what tell? You, in parentheses, capital Y at the beginning of the sentence. You tell whom or what? Story is our direct object. You tell story to whom or for whom? Me is our indirect object. Y'all getting the hang of it? I bought myself a pair of boots. I see a prepositional phrase, of boots. Put it in parentheses and do not use any word within those parentheses. Um, bought is our verb. Who or what bought? I. I bought whom or what? Pair is our direct object. I bought pair for whom or to whom? Myself. That's our indirect object. And number 10, the mockers gave Jesus a crown of thorns. I see another prepositional phrase of thorns. Put it in parentheses. Do not use any word within those parentheses. Mockers is our verb. Is, I'm sorry. Gave is our verb. Who or what gave? Jesus. Jesus gave whom or what? Not, I'm sorry. Okay. Start completely over. I'm sorry, guys. I had my brain moving on to the next exercise. Of thorns is our prepositional phrase. Put it in parentheses. Do not use anything there. Our verb is gave. Who or what gave? Mockers is our subject. Mockers gave um, what? Crown is our direct object. Mockers gave crown to whom or for whom? Jesus is our indirect object. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and turn to page 276. Um, on page 276, we have 20 sentences. So buckle up and let's go. I'm probably going to do about 10, 10 with y'all and have y'all do the, the rest on your own though, okay? Um, Jacob gave Joseph a coat of many colors. Gave is our verb, our action verb. <coughs> you have to remember direct objects always come after an action verb. That's very important to keep that in mind. Direct object, action verb for um, a few lessons coming up. Um, gave is our action verb. Who or what gave? Jacob. Jacob gave whom or what? Coat is our direct object. Jacob gave coat to whom or for whom? Joseph is our indirect object. Number two, Joseph told Pharaoh the interpretation of his dreams. Of his dreams is a prepositional phrase. Put it in parentheses. Um, told is our action verb. Who or what told? Joseph. Joseph told whom or what? Interpretation. Joseph told interpretation to whom or for whom? Pharaoh. Okay. He gave his brothers grain for their families. For their families is a prepositional phrase. Put it in parentheses. Gave is our action verb. Who or what gave? He. He gave whom or what? Grain is our direct object. He gave grain to whom or for whom? Brothers is our indirect object. Sears, Roebuck, and company sent me a sales catalog. Sent is our action verb. Who or what sent? Sears, Roebuck, and company. That's all your subject. Sears, Roebuck, and company sent whom or what? Catalog, our direct object. Sears, Roebuck, 
and company sent catalog to whom or for whom me is our indirect object. Number five, Sam, will you lend me your textbook? So our, now listen closely on this one, will lend is our verb. Who or what will lend? It's not Sam. Sam is a direct address. Who or what will lend? You is our subject. You will lend who or what? Textbook is our direct object. You will lend textbook to whom or for whom? Me is our indirect object. I will tell you the truth about the matter. <laughs> about the matter is a prepositional phrase. Put it in parentheses. Will tell is our action verb. I will tell whom or what? Truth. It's our direct object. I will tell truth to whom or for whom? You is our indirect object. Mr. Davis made us a swing in our backyard. In our backyard is a prepositional phrase. Made is the action verb. Who or what made Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis made whom or what? Swing is our direct object. Mr. Davis made swing for whom or to whom? Us is our indirect object. And if you look at every single sentence, you will see subject, verb, indirect object, object. Your indirect object is always found between your action verb and your direct object. Number eight, God sent Pharaoh a message through Moses. Through Moses is a prepositional phrase, put it in parentheses. Sent is our action verb. Who or what sent? God. God sent whom or what? Message is our direct object. God sent message to whom or for whom? Pharaoh is our indirect object. Will you lend me your tennis racket? Will lend is our action verb. Who or what will lend? You. You will lend whom or what? Racket. You will lend racket to whom or for whom? Me is our indirect object. Kelly sent her brother a birthday present. Um, sent is our action verb. Who or what sent? Kelly. Kelly sent whom or what? Present is our direct object. Kelly sent present to whom or for whom? Brother is our indirect object. Now, I would like you guys to go ahead and continue 11 through 20 um, on your own just because you are really good students and you want to know that you make sure you have this information. If you have any questions on 11 through 20, when you get online today, you can message me or, or um, hang out, chat with me, whatever. But I want to make sure that you are able to complete 11 through 20 on your own. And that is our language for today. See y'all math.